go ahead and close this up and move on to the next drawer. All right, this drawer here, this is just the shit drawer. Um, I've got some wire ties. I've got this gay piece of shit drill master 18 hole saw set piece of shit Harbor Freight. Milwaukee uh, boring bits. It's got the uh, hex quick change, so it's good to put in an impact driver and uh, drills through wood. I actually left these outside and they rusted, but they still work. And uh, I got the really nice Husky set. This is a really good set from Husky. It's um, like 20 bucks or something. Um, it's a quarter inch drive set, comes with a nice little ratchet. Um, no complaints with this ratchet, it's pretty nice. Sometimes it jumps in gear, but you know, whatever. Nice little extension. It's got metric and SAE. It's got six point and 12 point sockets and a good set, good set. Comes in a nice case and you know, gets the job done. Right. I got some electrical work solder. I got metal work solder, pipe solder, you name it, I got it. A soldering iron that Ricky's dad fucked up. Um, masking tape. I jacked this from a teacher at school. Um, the socket holder things for the wrenches, the uh, wrenches, as you guys can see, they used to fit in here like that. But what the fuck was that? Now, now they're sitting here like this. Yeah, I've got 50 hacksaw blade things from. Harbor Freight, they're not bad actually, they cut pretty good. They don't last very long, but you get 50 of them for like three bucks, so what do you complain about, right? Lic liquid electrical tape, and this stuff will get you high as soon as you open the can. Um, never use it, I think it's shit, I hate it. Um, wood glue, Linex blades, guys, these are, the, these are the great blades. I think it was like 10 bucks for this 50 piece set. Um, they've got like a titanium edge on them, and they hold a real good sharp edge. Um, great blades, I recommend them. And then I got these here Harbor Freight utility knife blades. Um, you know, just standard Harbor Freight. Comes in a nice holder though, so you can put your old blades in here so you're not cutting yourself up like an emo person, but you know, whatever. Blade exit, caution, caution, take caution. Um, they're alright blades. I haven't had any complaints with them, they're pretty sharp, but you know, they get the job done. Down here, I'm not gonna really move the camera to show you guys, but whatever. I mean, this is just power tools and stuff, and a mallet and wire terminals. I mean, you know, I've got the Dewalt's down here. I only got one Dewalt in here because the other Dewalt's downstairs, and I usually have the Craftsman tools in here. I've got the Craftsman drill and the Craftsman impact driver. And yes, guys, I do have two impact drivers. Um, um, I've got the Craftsman impact driver and the Dewalt impact driver side by side, definitely. Dewalt, Dewalt has more power, but the Craftsman feels way more solid. It's way more heavier, but uh, yeah, let me just show you guys something cool about my box here. Um, this was a custom feature I added onto it, but um, pretty cool. Uh, just go ahead and take my keys here off the side. And uh, you guys notice on the side here, if you notice this thing right down here, well, guess what that is, guys. Um, that is actually the starter off of that old MTD. Stick your key in there. Now your charger here, I've got them on uh, these really strong magnets that I got from a hard drive. Sticks them right down there, and I got the crashing charger, but we're just gonna do the Dewalt. So, stick the Dewalt on there. As you guys can see, it's not flashing. So go ahead and turn the key. She starts flashing. Turn the key off. She stops flashing. Now that works with everything. It turns this whole power supply on the back. Now it's basically my generator. Yeah, pretty much my generator. Ricky told me to do that for the video, but yeah, guys, um, I thought I'd just do that in there, you know, just to be fun, and you know, so bends up my key a little bit, but I don't care. And then when I'm done with these, I, I just throw them on the back of the box. And I've got a 20 foot power cord coming out from this box going to an outlet. And that's pretty much makes up the box. I mean, it's not a very big box, as you guys can see. But, uh, you know, it holds half my tools, I guess. But, uh, you know, it gets the job done. And um, I'm quite pleased with it. I mean, it doesn't have ball bearing glides or anything. But I'll upgrade to a cobalt box that has that in the near future. So. You know, whatever. It's just temporary. 
didn't really buy it to be a permanent box, but you know, whatever. It does get the job done and surprisingly has a lock in it, so. Thanks for watching guys, and please rate, subscribe, and comment.